uh, the court will not exercise its discretion uh, to release the defendant due to the nature of the crimes. Uh, I find that he is a danger to the community. Words from a judge tonight in Leon County denying bond for Charlie Adelson, the man facing charges in the death of former Florida State law professor Dan Markell. Adelson is the fourth person to face a judge in connection to his former brother-in-law's murder. Tonight, ABC 27's Micah Cho joins us live from the Leon County Courthouse. And Micah, outside of no bond, the other big news tonight, new evidence in this case. Exactly right. There was new evidence introduced, a conversation between Charlie Adelson and his father, Harley, and there was also old evidence also introduced today or brought up. Uh, that includes the Dolce Vita video, text messages, and stapled money. All of those put together, Judge Robert Wheeler is saying it was enough to hold him until his trial. In our view, additional evidence to be presented at Mr. Adelson's trial, including the enhanced Dolce Vita audio recording, leaves no doubt that Charlie Adelson commissioned Dan Markell's murder. Assistant State Attorney Georgia Kappelman reading a statement from attorneys on behalf of the Markell family, pleading Judge Robert Wheeler to not allow Charlie Adelson release as he awaits trial. In April 2016, undercover law enforcement contacted Donna Adelson about Dan's murder, handing her a flyer about the murder with a request for $5,000 to help Mr. Rivera's family. Presenting the state's evidence to Judge Wheeler, Kappelman referenced the 2016 bump to Charlie's mother, Donna, which led to Adelson's meeting with Catherine McBanawa, and one day later, a new evidence to the court, a meeting with Charlie and his father, Harley, also talking about the bump. One or the other, but the woman's usually the weaker choice. Yeah, someone else going to get in, so it is what it is. Kappelman also bringing up stapled money, something the court says Adelson did frequently, and how they say Luis Rivera and Sigfredo Garcia were paid. Per Luis Rivera, on the day after the murder, he received a hundred. He received stacks of hundred dollar bills stapled into one thousand dollar stacks as payment for his role in. The Adelson's defense attorney Daniel Rashbaum and questioning the state's evidence they have. The evidence is clearly circumstantial evidence, no direct evidence. Adelson's attorney also telling the court that if the evidence is circumstantial by law, Adelson would be qualified for pretrial release. The attorney even telling the court that if released, his client isn't a flight risk, saying his client had opportunities to, especially when the case made national and world headlines. Actually, he does go to the airport. He goes to places that he could never be extradited from in a capital offense, and he comes back. Again, after hearing both sides, Judge Robert Wheeler siding with the state, we did reach out to we did reach out to Charlie Adelson's attorneys and they did say they have no comment at this time. As for what's next for Charlie Adelson, well, his court case could come up or his uh, trial, however, could come up around March, April or May of 2023. For now, live in Tallahassee, Micah Cho, ABC 27.